Paul Rodriguez has had 10 different shoes with Nike and I think that this is his second signature SB Dunk. And luckily for me, my friend Eddie was able to win a pair in a raffle where he was able to buy them for $150. He was so generous enough to lend them to me so I can make a video on them for you guys. So this is going to be a breakdown of the Nike SB Dunk What the Paul. They took features and colorways from his predecessor shoes and put them into these dunks. And they look ridiculous. And that's okay, because I'm ridiculous. Also, I started a second channel that has just a lot of skateboarding and other videos that I'll be making. It's Christian Flores too, as in Christian Flores also. Link will be in the description. Wrapped around the toe cap is the elephant print from the P-Rod 2. You can also find the elephant print on the right shoe where the eyelets are for the laces. On the middle of the inside of your left foot, the eyelets are made out of this weird potato sack looking material that was taken from the very ugly P-Rod 2 High Middle Brown and Dark Oak Wood colorway. The rainbow swoosh that's on the outside of the left shoe was taken from the Nike SB P-Rod 2 PlayStation. It almost looks like it's fluorescent, like it's lit up. It was really hard for me to say fluorescent. The laces that are on these shoes are the traditional Nike SB Dunk laces, but if you don't want your laces to break, then go in the description where you can get some of these laces. This black and gray polka dot pattern that wraps around the back of the heel is from the P-Rod 3. A lot of P-Rod's previous shoes look a lot like basketball shoes and running shoes. And wrapping around the back of the heel is the tan and black safari print that they took from the P-Rod 6 Lunar Rod. The green piece of suede on the heel with the Nike that's embroidered back here is from one of his shoes, but I couldn't figure out which one. If you know, leave it in the comments. I, I couldn't find it. I was looking for a while. I couldn't find what it was. The outside of the left shoe has this hemp pattern material that was a colorway for the P-Rod 1. The outside of the left shoe has these weird triangle cutouts for the eyelets that they took from the P-Rod 8. The left toe box has this brown suede that looks like it's flaking away from some black leather, and it's from his stash collaboration on the P-Rod 1. The PR logo that's embossed on the inside of the back of the left foot is from the Nike SB P-Rod 1. Those were the coolest shoes that I think that Nike has given P-Rod so far. I couldn't get them when I was a kid though, because my parents were like, you can't, we can't afford it, we can't get that right now. So we, they're not getting it, so I didn't, I didn't get, but ha, I got the, I didn't buy these. These are Eddie's, whatever. The P-Rod 1 medium Mexican blanket attributed this snake skin looking material that's on the inside of the left shoe and the Mexican blanket material that's on the toe box of the right shoe. And the tag that's on the tongue is from the P-Rod 10. And when I saw this shoe, I had no idea that Nike had made a dress skateboarding shoe and put P-Rod's name on it. I don't think I'm ever gonna see anybody skating those. The Nike Delta Force SB gave the metallic lace tag on the left shoe the movie theater seat quilted pattern that's on the inside of both of the shoes is taken from the P-Rod 2, just from different colorways. And they use the Zoom Air unit on the insoles for this shoe like they do on all the Nike insoles. They have that thin little padded material in the back of your heel that will help your heel, but the rest of the insoles pretty much crap. Does not even really give you that much impact protection. My absolutely favorite thing on this pair of shoes is the tread on the bottom of the left shoe. And it's not just because I'm Latin. It's cool. This tread and the outside of the right shoe is taken from the Nike SB Dunk High boxing glove. And the lace tag on the right shoe. Okay, so Paul has had three SB Dunk signature shoes. Let me know how many he's actually had that are Dunks. The filigree embroidered leather toe cap that's on the right shoe is taken from the P-Rod 2 High Bow. The P-Rod 1 that was nicknamed the J-Rods gave these little embroidered circles that's on the outside of the right shoe. The Nike swoosh on the outside of the right shoe is taken from the P-Rod 2 Tinker Hatfield. Wrapped around the entire heel of the right foot is this black cross-hatched material that almost looks like carbon fiber, which is also taken from the P-Rod 2. The rainbow tag on the back of the right heel with P-Rod's signature on it is taken from the P-Rod 2 collaboration with the artist Hiroshima, and I do not know how to pronounce his last name. Not even gonna try. The P-Rod in Team Red is the reason for the red leather on the inside of the right shoe. It has the small little black logo. This brown animal pattern leather suede material that's wrapped around the inside of the right heel is from the P-Rod 7. The P-Rod signature on the tongue is taken from the P-Rod 6. That's all the breaking down that I could figure out for these shoes. If you know about a piece that I got wrong or I missed, let me know in the comments down below because that's quite possible that I missed it. I am not a very hype beast type of guy for shoes. I just really like skateboarding shoes and shoes that are meant for skating. Luckily for my friend, he was able to win the opportunity to buy these in a raffle for $150. Unluckily for me, 
He is a size 8, I am a size 10, so I cannot buy these off of him. But I went and bought them on resale on GOAT for $1,209.11. You might be asking yourself, why would you spend that much money on a pair of shoes? Well, that's because I understand that a lot of you guys that skate want to be able to skate these and want to know what they would skate like. So I will be doing a full review on these shoes in a couple of weeks, so make sure you subscribe for that and leave a comment down below because, you know, just cuz. And I love you. Make sure you ring that notification bell and if you buy Nike SB Dunks like all the time and you're just like, oh, I collect them and they're cool, but don't crease them. Don't crease them, Nike SB. Don't crease that. I hate you. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. It's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm gonna skate him. Okay, bye. One more. If you've watched this far, leave a comment saying, I just realized that I, sh I shaved half my face this morning, thinking it would be funny because my, my parents would be like, oh, you shaved half your face? That's silly, <laughs> you silly Christian. They didn't notice, I forgot. I filmed this whole entire video and then just now realized I'm not doing I'm not filming it over again. This is it. This is the video. It's this is how it is. A lot of people that don't watch my content regularly probably watch it because of this shoe. But guess what? That's fine. I love me. You should love you too. And uh I'm not filming it over again. I'm done. I'm done. I love you. Bye.